Hmm. That's a good question. Good luck. (laughs) (laughs) Three words. Um, I would say authentic, functional, and... um, And humorous, maybe. Is that fair? A strong work ethic comes in there, too. Um, I think... I don't know, to me it has to come from a very, as far as having a product, it's got to be a real product from real creators that understand the functionality needs of, of the product they're selling. Um, like I would not do well designing any high heels or such. <laughs> um, but, and I think, I think that's what has been reflected in the limited success we have had is that people recognize that... Um, I mean, I, my background was farming and, and trail work and that sort of thing where I needed the product and knew I needed to go into it on a functional level and um, and high quality and made in the U.S. Were, were pieces that aren't compromisable also and excellent customer service. So you throw all those together and people people respond pretty appropriately. And then the other the other element too is having, um, and I think Tour de Pants and some of our grassroots marketing efforts have been really successful in involving our customers in in the cult, so to speak, like it is becoming bizarrely cult-like on, on some levels for these people. Um, that when they put on a pair of pants, they're not just putting on canvas; they're putting on like an, an almost another identity of either feeling more badass or I can I can accomplish more when I wear these pants. Or um, I really believe that you know in women doing this work and in in these pants being made in the U.S. and what's what the pants stand for. Um, and I think that that's all wrapped up and woven into the fabric, even which is which is pretty neat to see. And that wasn't even a specifically intentional um, decision on my part. It's just I think it's happened because that's um, that's just the way I felt like it's appropriate to do business, and and, and people have gravitated towards it pretty tremendously. Um, you know, and very it's a very small cult, but it's it's very cult like. <laughs> like there's people that come to me at booths and like. There's tears all the time. There's people like bowing down on the floor. There's that kind of bizarreness that you're like, they're just a pair of pants. But like, these women are like, they're pretty damn excited to have pants that fit. Um, and then you get into the like the, the trades women and the folks that are um, up against serious serious challenges being a women women in non traditional roles. And um, yeah, it goes a, a lot further than just having a pair of pants that fits. <laughs>